What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Raise. It's really hard to believe that it's been more than 40 years since the dramatic TV show Dynasty premiered. Because of the huge success the show reached, we got a reboot that is as good as the original show. Now, let's see some actors who were almost cast in Dynasty. Also, keep watching to see what an actor from the original show has said about the reboot. His comments will shock you. Madeline Stowe Well, I don't want to sell. When I move in, I need to assess the estate and all of the expenses that come with it. Oh. Dynasty is a show known for making a lot of casting arranged throughout its three seasons. Elaine Hendricks, who co-starred opposite Elizabeth Gillies on FX's Sex and Drugs and Rock and Roll, is now Alexis Carrington. Now, Hendricks is the third actress to portray the set character on the CW's Dynasty reboot. Nicolette Sheridan played the part midway through season one, with Gillies temporarily taking over in season two, after Sheridan's abrupt exit. But what you probably didn't know is that Madeline Stowe almost played the iconic role of Alexis Carrington. But things didn't work out as another actress took her place. Madeline is mostly known for appearing in the 1987 crime comedy film Stakeout. She then appeared in movies such as Revenge, 1990, Unlawful Entry, 1992, The Last of the Mohicans, 1992, Blink, 1993, Bad Girls, 1994, China Moon, 1994, Twelve Monkeys, 1995, The General's Daughter, 1999, and We Were Soldiers, 2002. Nev Campbell Yes, of course. You're upset because Colbico has been buying up all your shares. That's understandable. You do look a little... Back in the golden days, we're of course talking about the 90s. Nev Campbell was all over the media. She was starring in hit teen drama Party of Five and took also part in the horror comedy movie franchise Scream. The Canadian-born actress has made appearances in many TV shows and movies. In 1994, Campbell took the role of Julia Salinger in Fox's Party of Five, and this was just the start of her amazing acting career. Campbell then appeared in the cult horror for classic The Craft and then the Scream franchise with her role in Scream, she just proved how talented she is. Now she was considered for the role of Alexis, but no luck in that show. The producers thought someone else would be better for the role. Sarah Michelle Geller. I will repeat it. As I already explained, I had my hair done at six, then I went home, wrapped it in a- What the hell happened to Sarah Michelle Geller? Probably one of the most popular questions in Hollywood. Well, according to some people, her career downfall is because of the fact that the actress was more or less defined from the moment she made it big. As we all know, Sarah Michelle Gellar starred as Buffy Summers on the hit show Buffy the Vampire Slayer. After the show's final series in 2003, she simply disappeared as her career took a major downfall. Gellar has also appeared in famous movies such as I Know What You Did Last Summer, Cruel Intentions, and 2002's Scooby-Doo. And most recently, she was also considered for the role of Alexis Carrington in Dynasty, but obviously, that didn't work out. Leslie Bibb The surprise witness is Jeff Colby? <laughs> what a joke. She has appeared in MCU's Iron Man, but there are plenty of other roles that actress Leslie Bibb has taken on during her career, and yes, she's also involved in Dynasty. Leslie we Louise Bibb is one of the most famous and respected actresses in Hollywood. Leslie has been in both modeling and acting careers, and she has famously made her appearance known with the roles that she has played over the years. She played a role in The Babysitter, Killer Queen, and starred in Netflix's Jupiter's Legacy. But most recently, she has been suggested to play the role of Alexis in the Dynasty reboot, which unfortunately didn't happen. Do you think she would have been right for the role? Let us know. Lori Laughlin. This is the reading of the last will and testament of Thomas Fitzsimmons Carrington. As executor Thomas Lori Laughlin and Felicity Huffman are two names that have been mentioned a lot these last few years. The reason? The two actresses are in the middle of the college admission scandal that has posted their bail, $1 million and $250,000, respectively. After being accused of conspiracy to do mail fraud and honest services fraud, with Huffman saying that she will plead guilty. Laughlin has lost a lot in her career because of this as she has been removed from Netflix and Hallmark projects. Now, one of the suggestions for the roles of Alexis Carrington in Dynasty was Lori Laughlin, but with the ongoing situation, she was unconsidered for the mentioned role. Melinda Clark You've come here to gloat? Oh no, that would be much too easy. Melinda Clark is a well-known actress who started acting when she was 18 years old. She became really famous after her role of Faith Taylor in one of the longest-running scripted TV shows, Days of Our Lives, in 1989. 
She has a lot of popular movies and TV shows behind her, such as CSI, Crime Scene Investigation, The Vampire Diaries, The O.C., Spawn, and Entourage. According to some rumors, she was also considered for the role of Alexis, but she didn't get it. Terry Hatcher You're even more beautiful and more ugly than that grand English lady I vaguely remember. One of the most naive-looking actresses that became famous thanks to her role in Desperate Housewives, Terry Hatcher has had a long-running career that began in the mid-80s with her role in The Love Boat. She wasn't really famous until 1993 when she got a leading role on Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman. And then, boom, she got the role of Susan in Desperate Housewives in 2004, and that role has brought her an Emmy nomination. Two Golden Globe nominations and a win for Best Actress in 2005 as well as a SAG Award for Best Actress. Can you imagine Terry playing the role of Alexis in Dynasty? Well, that would have been fun to watch, but even though rumors suggest that she was considered for the role, and even if that's true, the directors have chosen another actress. With these many changes made throughout the show, we can expect some of these actresses to appear in the following episodes. Heather Locklear, Ava Sambora. Where is he? Hey, guess who's, oh my God. <gasps> what the hell are you doing here? Who the hell are you doing here? Heather Locklear and Richie Sambora's daughter, Ava Sambora, have both said that they would be more than happy to star in the reboot of Heather's iconic series, Dynasty, in an interview with Wingman Magazine. The actress is still a student, but she said that she would love to carry on her mother's legacy and star in the reboot of the iconic show. Oh my god, of course I'd be interested, said Sambora about appearing along with her mother in the reboot. She also said that the reboot is great, and it inspires her to go check out the old episodes of the original. When it comes to her mother's character, she said she loves what they did with it because it was so different and ultimately timely. Casting Sambora in the Dynasty reboot is something we all want to see, and we hope that the show would at least consider giving her a role in the reboot. Charisma Carpenter a Dynasty trailer. You went there? Well, that's just a temporary situation. Oh, is in temporary and sad. After her appearance as Cordelia Chase on Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel, Charisma Carpenter has played lots of popular roles in TV shows and movies. Buffy the Vampire Slayer is one of the longest lasting shows ever, and based on that, the actors that starred in the show got a lot of experience. But on the other side, Buffy the Vampire Slayer saw many of its characters being involved in both sides of the good and wicked wall. The actress recently shared that she was abused on the set of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. She came out and said accusations of on-set abuse against Joss Whedon. She stated it occurred during her time working on the two Whedon-created shows, Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel. Charisma was one of the actresses considered for the role of the iconic Alexis in Dynasty. Gordon Thompson Well then, what do you suggest? You could take an early retirement. That would save the company some money. Do you work here? Now, we've talked about actresses that almost appeared in the show, but there's one famous actor that will never consider taking a role in Dynasty the Reboot. When it comes to Gordon Thompson, he has in fact problems with the new Dynasty. Thompson is one of the original actors that had a significant role in the original series. In Thompson's opinion, which he shared with the Daily Beast, there's nothing right with the reboot. The actor even said that the original producer, Aaron Spelling, would be having major fits in his grave if he saw the reboot. Well, that hurts. According to many fans, it's sad that the reboot didn't get approved by the famous actor, and what seems to be Gordon Thompson's biggest problem with the new Dynasty is that the series is retelling of the original series. Thompson also spoke about how other reboots like Dallas served as a continuation, and this is according to him the way it's supposed to be. About the show's wicked cat fights, Thompson points at them as kitty snits. Do you guys think the reboot would have been better as a continuation of the original show? Also, which of these actresses do you think deserve the role of Alexis? Let us know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video in the future. As always, thanks for watching.